What's been the reaction since you skated at Rockefeller Rink almost nude for, almost for PETA? For PETA. The, re the reaction was overwhelming. And with PETA, because it is, you know, they're a radical, you know, animal activist group. And not everyone loves PETA. I love what they stand for. That's why I did the, the skating in my in my little Ladies skimpy gentlemen, underwear. Please. I had no idea what to expect when I got there and when I got on the ice. I stood up for what I what I believed in, and that was to, to save the animals. And it wasn't about me. It wasn't about anyone else. It was about getting that message out. And I did it, and people paid attention. The the press was amazing. So for me, it was a fabulous experience, and I'm so glad I did it. No regrets. What else is going on in your life? Well, I got an agent a couple of weeks ago in Los Angeles, so what we're working on is really turning my name, the Thai Babylonian name, into a brand. And that would consist of sportswear. Um, I would love to do a line of figure skates, recreational skates for the everyday skater, and also roller skates. I would love to bring back roller skating. So it's sort of in their hands now. I'm kind of open to anything, you know, but I have to approve it and be very hands-on. So we'll see. I'm excited about it. Well, the figure skates and roller skates won't be leather. No, not at all. And there's a that good, good point. They're not, and I, that, I'll make a point. It's um, and there's a there's a, a material. I forget the name of it, but it's been used before, and it's a non, you know, fake non-leather material. So absolutely no leather skates.